And I'm back. I don't know if you're still there. Fingers crossed you are. That should be me back up and running. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Guys, if you were there, are you back? I'm sorry for that um, short break. What I should have done is rather than the end card, I should have shown you that card. Look at that. That's that's the card I should have shown you. Yeah? Are you all back? Are people back? Is anybody back? Right, well, I'll just carry on, and if uh, there's any issues, let me know. I've just dropped it down from 30 frames to 20, and hopefully that will uh, hopefully that'll work. Uh, that's the minimum it would let me drop it to, and I really don't want to, you know, drop it down to Crud City. I don't understand why or how it would go down so low you know why I'd have to drop it down so low anyway that you know it'd practically be an awful stream There we go. Right. Um, not getting any more comments through for the second, so I'm just gonna ignore him. Maybe it's a good thing. La la la. So, guys, do me a favour, um, would you like, I mean obviously, I'm presuming if you're watching this you'd like me to do more live streams and hopefully better ones, um, and they would get better over time obviously, but who would you like me to do live streams with, because I'd like to do collaborations, I think collaborations would be better, live, live streaming on your own is really weird. I don't know if you've ever done it, but it is it's supremely weird. Imagine having a phone call, a video call. Imagine having a video call on your own where the other people can only text message you back. Even now while I'm drawing, my, um, my pen's doing this thing where it'll just drop its um its ability to its pressure ability it would just go full on like that i mean that was me pushing hard but that's what it'll do instead of being able to draw a nice line like that it'll just go that's so annoying i mean it's all stylists do that. They all have that kind of hiccup. I mean, I won't lie, but it's just happened tenfold since in the last week or so. He wants to know, did I do the cover for Clip Studio Paint. No, I did the cover for uh, Painter Essentials 5. 
what's the cover to Clip Studio Paint? Um, I, I've only used their thing like a few times. Um, Funnily enough, she got blue hair as well. Um, no, the clip. But. I was going to give a green. I always give people green. It's the rarest eye colour there is. Apparently in the world. Even though I think most of my family have green. Um, so I'm used to seeing green. But. There you go. What a nice dog. Yeah, who who would you like to see me live stream with? I've sent, you know, I've talked to a couple of people. Obviously, I'll get Aaron on the channel. And do some more live streams with Aaron, but. You know, we, we've done a lot of live streams together over the last couple of years. And I can't, you know, the... The thing is, if I if I ask somebody who's got like a massive channel, chances are they just won't even respond to my email. So I'm gonna have to be realistic about who I ask. But because people always want to ask people with more subscribers, they never want to ask down. But. I've noticed there's a politics about it. I mean, I don't mind as long as they're a good artist and they're chatty and... You know, I'm going to have a laugh. And it's just going to be a great video, that's all I care about. Oh, I've just noticed there's a massive chunk of blue hair over there that I never even touched. Do, do, do. How did I miss that blue hair? Do, do, do. Blue hair. So there is a point now I should go around here and just actually tidy this up. It's hard because you also want to stay on top of the comments as well. Ah, pop up menu keeps getting me. Have a look at the comments then. Uh, John DB says, Love your videos. What app do you use to draw on the phone? Um, I'm favoring Sketchbook lately, but I have also used. Oh, my phone's off. Go away. Um, Art flow, and uh, that was totally useless showing you that. Um, I use an app called Du Recorder to screenshot my videos when I record them. Um, Art flow I like. A lot of people go, oh, it's not very good, but 
the UI on it is brilliant for when you just want to change brush size and opacity, which are the two main things. Um, I like it. There's just something quirky about it that I like. Well, not even quirky, just straightforward that I like. But Sketchbook is nice and simple. It, 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 you know, and it works with the stylus for the tilt and rotate. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's uh, a nice little app. And the DU recorder is the best one I've found for actually just recording. Um, being able to play it back and share it. Um, a stream with Brad Cobalt. Uh, yeah, um, I reached out to him. Didn't hear anything back. Yeah, apparently green is the rarest. Um, brown's the most common eye colour. Um, yeah. Yeah, apparently. Everyone in the world, when you factor it in. I thought blue would have been the rarest, but... But apparently green... Carry on. No, oh, I'm ripping apart my brush things here. There we go. Right. You know what? Now I'll do it later. I was just going to see if I could just turn it off completely, but hey. See, I'm using a large brush right now, and I'm wondering, I'm worrying, wondering, worrying, if that's going to cause any lag to the stream. It's a perfect time to swap over to my blender brush. Photoshop took a long time to uh, build a blender brush. But I will say when they did, they built a good one. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear you say that, Michael. I'm, I'm glad the frame rate's better now. I, I honestly didn't think that 20 frames, you know, coming down to 20 from 30, I didn't think that would make much of a difference at all. But, you know, that's why these little impromptu um, streams, that's why they make a difference, you know. I, I for some reason, 
here on this stream. Oh, it says there's only two people watching. <laughs> um, but that's that's why these streams are, are important, you know, um, because at least there I can do a bit of trial and error. You know, I never send out any tweets. If you want to send out a tweet now, just saying, "Hey, you know, Lawrence is drawing," that's cool. But it allows me to kind of work out the rough kinks. I'm going to put on some fingerless gloves. These are my old manky ones. I don't use these when I'm, you know, doing a proper video. They're really ratty and tatty. I have some nice clean ones that I use when I'm actually doing videos. I buy them in like bulk because they get they get really ratty really fast and when they get ratty I just wear them around the house and when I'm drawing but when they're new that's when I use them for like doing unboxing videos and stuff like that I'm like oh yeah so keep all the new ones but when they're like these ones I, I they were in an unboxing video at one point but now they make me look like a homeless beggar. My wife, my wife calls me Fagan. I could wear one of those, you know, kind of gloves with a like that, the two finger gloves, the drawing board gloves, but ah, oh, I don't know. I might do a review of one of those. There's just something. That I just, I, I can't. I've tried them. I've got a couple here. That have come with drawing tablets and stuff like that. Uh, Taylor asks, do I know if um, the Photoshop... Uh, UI was ever fixed for the surface book um, yes you just have to go into the settings and uh, and go into there and tweak it it was actually um, it was it was fixed pretty quickly but they just never told anyone about the fixes so <laughs> as with most fixes yeah they just never told anyone um, so you just have to go into the preferences and find your way around there, which isn't, yeah. And like a lot of that stuff, it, re it requires a restart with Photoshop. So you kind of, did that work? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to find out after the restart. Yeah, it's not the best, is it? So, um, there's probably um there's probably a video out that somebody's done about it i wouldn't be surprised see a lot of people do brushes just for hair and i find this to be the best way just paint it really fast really loose and then just go in with a blender. And then on top of this. I'll just keep going back and doing what I'm doing here. But on a smaller and smaller scale. And I end up just painting virtually. Every individual hair. And blending it in. And yeah it takes me ages. But at least it doesn't look like it's been done with a, a brush. Because hair to me is like one of the big things that. Because I do a lot of portraits and stuff. Can't stand hair that looks like it's been done with a Photoshop brush. You know that has that kind of brush pattern to it. But I don't like, 
it's weird because I don't like my brush to uh, my hair to look overly real either. My hair has a kind of a style to it. You know, I still love that kind of flowing look that kind of looks very 1920s, 1930s that feels kind of like clumps of hair, clumps of flowing hair rather than individual hairs. So it's weird. I still want it to feel like kind of an ocean wave kind of thing. I suppose everyone just has their own style of doing it, but I've, I've developed a long and laborious way of doing it. But I find it very enjoyable and relaxing to do. And right now I'm getting spinning wheel of doom on my Photoshop brush purely because it said using a blender and you've done far too many little blending strokes. There we go. So the trouble is the blender brush is very processor intensive. Just like most Photoshop brushes are really processor intensive like people say about um, the lag that they get and it's just like well you're using funny brushes most of the time and different brushes cause a lot of lag now, I don't think people realize how much lag brushes cause Hi Nick, I'm glad you like the gloves. I don't know Doki wear. Are they the two fingered ones then? Are they just one of the brands of those? <laughs> Michael started wearing the drawing gloves. Ah, oh, fingerless gloves, it's the way forwards. Thanks for letting me know about the lag, Taylor. I'm sorry if it's a bit slow. It might be because I was using the, um, the blending brush there. If it stopped now while I'm just talking, let me know. Oh, iCred says he can see it's hardware lag. Yeah, yeah. And Eric says there's no lag now. So yeah, yeah. It's just while I was blending. Yeah, uh, blending brush is amazingly, insanely. Um, I mean, I did crush all those layers down. I've barely got any layers in this. But one thing I've also done from yesterday um, to help um, help the stream is yesterday what I was doing was I was as well as streaming I was recording the stream to my computer I'm not doing that today because it's uploading the stream to YouTube anyway so why bother recording the stream to my computer you know um, it would have been good to have that back up but a I can just download it from YouTube afterwards and B, mm, do I really need to because it's just extra room taken up on one of my drives, you know, and it's not going to be, say if YouTube in a couple of years time disappears, 
and it's like, oh no, I haven't got all my videos. It's just like, is a live stream going to be one of the ones that I really, really miss? You know, what I might do is go back and download se selected live streams. That might be the thing to do. You know, say if I have an amazing live stream. You know, we're with someone who's absolutely awesome, like collaboration live stream. That might be the thing to do. But a laggy test run live stream like this, where I'm just, you know, it's an impromptu and I'm just doing a test run. It's probably not the live stream I'm going to want to capture forever. Again, blending folks. So sorry if this is laggy again. have a load of stuff here to review and a load of stuff that I've reviewed and it just needs editing got a couple of commissions on at the moment as well so I'm kind of really backed up with things that I uh, I need to sort out and I keep thinking of more ideas for videos too some of them are urgent, like time sensitive, and some of them aren't. So, let's put a new layer on and get rid of the blending brush so I'm not lagging. There we go. I've just seen the thumbnail of this and the thumbnail, you know, looks a lot worse than it, well, she does on my big screen. Um, she looks really weird on the thumbnail version. So, yeah. Let's try and make a look. More human, at least. trouble when you're drawing and talking. I found it's impossible to actually draw and talk at the same time. Well, not impossible, but really hard. Should look a bit better now. I think it's because I gave her such small uh, lips. I think I'll just have to solve that. Partly though, you notice that I haven't zo I hadn't zoomed in at all while I was working on this. 
And that's what I try and do in the very early stages is not zoom in at all. I'm getting a bit of lag on my end now on the computer, so I don't know if it if it's lagging at your side and how bad that is. Hopefully, it's not too bad. iCred asks if I can make a video about commissions and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing a course on it. Yeah, I'm actually thinking of doing a whole course on that. Because I think a video is maybe a bit small. Video is one of those things where, God, it's just such a big subject, you know? Is that something you'd be interested in? If I did, you know, so like an entire course? I just think, you know, there there's so much in it. And I just think there's... Um, It's one of those topics you could talk about for a month and still never give somebody enough information. And every time I talk to people about it, people either have like have been given really bad information from other people. And I'm not saying I have all the inf all the right ideas and information, but You know, I can tell you that I can tell you that what you're going to hear out there isn't necessarily going to be right if it comes in, you know, a 10 minute video. <laughs> You know, if you can explain it in 10 minutes, I'd, you know, I'd love to hear it, but I think chances are and that's, I, I don't know if anyone's noticed this, but my videos now, uh, my average video time before was like 20 minutes. My average video time now is like five. I've been trying to make my videos a bit shorter. There, her, va her face should look a bit more real now.
But yeah. Um, who's the painting of? Um, nobody in particular. Um, I did a Google search for just female smiling. And um, I got a rough pose, did a quick sketch. Uh, which was the the one you saw me start with and uh, that was that as you know as far as it goes now I'm just bombing from imagination but I think the original girl had um, kind of auburn hair um, part of me it was, it was kind of a cheap business shot part of me is now thinking of doing something if I grab this color Of like this this is just one of the dark skin tones Just doing that. We'd have to do it on the other side as well. I thought that might be fun. Right, I'll see you later, I cried. But I mean, a lot of the time, you know, it's just random ideas, but it's just what you want to fill out your portfolio with. You know, um, do you want more portraits? Do you want more uh, fantasy stuff, sci-fi stuff? Um, you know, whether you're just drawing for random fun. What kind of variety do you want in your portfolio? For me, this time, it was just drawing for fun. I do a lot of portrait stuff anyway. I do a lot of fantasy stuff. I always think whatever you do, you should do something that you can eventually put in your portfolio anyway. Um, but yeah, if this is if this if I do end up drawing on this again, then it would be nice to potentially do something which could go in my portfolio at one point. So yeah. I would have to use the blender brush. <laughs> Laggy. Just trying to decide where because I can see this having little kind of bricks in it. And then as it gets
what I should have done is just painted the whole thing smooth and then gone over it with the lines. Yeah. So I might have to get the blender brush out. Just blend the whole thing smooth. But then you'd feel the real lag of that. So sorry if there is lag for the moment. Yeah, and I can just keep going and adding. Bits in. There we go. But it means rearranging all that hair as well. To make it all realistic. Which is fine. You know that's also a, you know. A lot of. That's going to be a lot of the fun part as well. The main thing is not to rush adding that in. What I'm going to do is not make the horn kind of cone shaped, but make it um, flat. As if it's almost kind of stuck to the side of her head. I'll do that. Yeah. No, that that look nice. Um, I think one thing I will have to do is start start adding in a a darker background, just because I want. It's kind of hard to work on this with a, such a light background now. And I'm adding in a purple that kind of matches her lips a bit.
So that background already does a does a bit of work. I wish I could take out that ink layer. Or at least parts of it. Just add in some more shadows in because we've changed the lighting. I'm not being overly careful with them though. Because I think I'm just going to have to go back and ch um, add in a few more bits and bats anyway. Just like that. There you go. Just gonna do a tiny bit of you know kind of touching up on this for a second just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to a, a finishing point on this which is what I normally do say if I'm gonna just wrap up an illustration for the day so say if I'm gonna call this the day's work what I'll do is I'll just quickly draw on everything else that I want to do tomorrow so like I'll pick a light shade of this and just sketch this in like I know I want to take a lot more time doing this but I know it's got to be done I know it helps me make the choices it helps me make these decisions you see Sometimes they almost get through to the final round because I've never even noticed them.
but because this is all on a separate layer like this I'm not too worried about making kind of big mistakes it's like this is almost white So I can go in and add like really nice big highlights. Um, what I could even do is give her a bit of an eye colour, like the red. Now, I don't even know if this works, but because it's on this thing for tomorrow, I've got all night to kind of decide. And that works for me. I'm happy with that. So as far as that stands, yeah, I like that. Needs a bit of, of blending work to get it in there, but again, bring out a cheekbone there. Actually, it needs a lot of blending work to get that in. Woo, I was not a makeup artist. Uh, but again, that's why we leave that for tomorrow. Um, I'm glad this live stream worked a lot more. If you've got any ideas then um, let me know what you guys think I feel like I've not been talking enough to you guys really hard to talk and draw at the same time um, I think you know because I don't want to be like a gamer who just makes stupid noises while I game um, but yeah that's why collaborations are good, because at least one of you does a bit while the other does a bit. So let me know what you guys think, if that was a lot more successful than yesterday, for those of you that did stick around, like Eric, Michael, you missed yesterday. Um, and let me just read the comments. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um... I'm glad you like that, thanks guys. Um, yeah, it did actually get pretty far pretty quick. Um, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. I'd have liked for it to gotten a lot, I'd have liked for it to have gotten a lot further, to be honest. The tone is, she's a bit happier <laughs> looking, um, really, because of the, the weird random, you know, kind of reference photo that I had, but yeah. Um, I could really, I mean, literally, if I just, I mean, literally, all I have to do is drop a filled bucket on a layer, and then, oh no, overlay's wrong, um, slide down, I think, let me think. Hmm. 
I can literally drop a full bucket of colour on. I think purple was just the wrong colour. And make her a lot more sinister. Like that. I can even double down on that. That's just copying and pasting the layer. If I just change that layer and add another effect on, let's look for something else. Something that your eye doesn't really like, like difference. subtraction and I'll just take an eraser rub out most of the skin, most of the prominent areas actually. So it looks like she's coming a bit more out of the shadows. So it's a really nice dark portrait. And it gives her this really oily feeling. I can do the layer behind it just with her eyes. Oh, I shouldn't do all that. There you go. That gives it a really horrible, weird feeling. Right. I think. Boom. I'm going to call that a day. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I think that was a successful second test run. Well, uh, a second test run and that one was more successful. So thanks everybody for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. You've all been absolutely wonderful. Thank you everybody. Um, I shall see you again soon. If you've enjoyed this, uh, yeah, spread the word. Cheers guys. I'll see you later. How do you turn this thing off? Ha ha ha.